as usual i was contacted on facebook to fix a bike and when the guy came i saw this bike it looks quite expensive the problem was it's not switching on and uh, yeah he said it was earlier switching on and now suddenly it's not switching on when it came i saw so much of wiring uh, i suspect there was a wiring issue nothing uh, big with uh, controller or motor so i thought first i should check the price of the bike so i just search uh, It's a $2,600 bike or let's say a $2,000 plus bike. So I tried solving what I can do. So first thing I what uh, I wanted to check is I'm getting power till the controller or not. So these are the switch. These are the plugs for positive and negative. So if I'm getting power here, that means connection from this battery through the all wires through all the wires from here till here it's all okay if i'm not getting power here that means something is problem this side and everything is all maybe everything is okay uh, this side so let's check it so finally i'm able to hook up the multimeter probes to the anderson plugs that is coming from the battery and I have set up the multimeter at 200 volt because uh, the e-bike uh, this e-bike battery is 36 volt and uh, for 36 volt battery the voltage range between mostly 32 volt to 42 volt so so it should be above 20 volt and in the range of 200 volt okay let's check if uh, I get voltage at anderson plug or not so Right now I'm getting 41.8 volt. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, and it's pretty steady. But uh, previously when I was doing, I was getting this voltage fluctuation. And what I realized is the fl voltage fluctuation was coming from here. So now you see 39.7 volt. So yeah, and it, it's fluctuating. So most probably there is some some problem or uh, it's 39.7 38 okay so there's some problem some loose connection i don't know where so so yeah after doing this struggle i realized that this switch is suspected to be broken because whenever i'm pressing the switch the voltage changes so most probably there's something wrong here most probably here that is causing this voltage change and this is not working however i will plug it again and then at uh, this voltage i will try that if i am able to switch on the bike again so earlier we were not able to switch on the bike and uh, now let's see so i have switched it off then i am plugging the controller to the battery Yeah, I did hear a spark, spark, which means I don't know. Oh, anyhow, let's check if it is able to switch on or not. No, so I'm not able to switch on. I'm not getting voltage. Switch is on. Something is wrong. I don't know what. So let's unplug it and then see if I'm getting the voltage or not. So what I observe is whenever I'm switching on with the load, with the load, then voltage is going zero. So it might possible that the controller is broken and whenever there is a load controller uh, is getting short circuit or something like that so or maybe there is something wrong with this switch and because of that uh, whenever there is a load uh, switch is not working properly 
So let's find out what is the issue and how can we resolve it. For this first I what I am thinking that I will bypass the switch and uh, then try to put a load. If the bike works then it's the switch problem. Let's see. Oh, I had I had uh, I had few sparks here while I was doing. I'm little curious how can I bypass this switch. So after trying to bypass the switch to start this bike, I realized it's better to buy the uh, switch for a permanent solution. Uh, so I measured the bike switch size which is uh, 20 mm and let's see if I can find the switch so I googled and then I saw same switch it's available for 1.34 and similar prices are available uh, Jack I found the same switch in Jackar for three dollar which is just next door even the switches are available on Aliexpress uh, ranging from 50 cents to three to five dollar and eBay where I can get it for like uh, yeah five pieces for 10 to 13 dollar so let's get the switch also before I get the switch I realized that uh, although this bike is so expensive they don't have a fuse they do have a fuse but it's a dummy fuse it's not connected anywhere and all these wire are brand new it's not uh, altered so I'll get some extra wire and uh, I'll connect the fuse as well so that uh, next time the fuse is burnt, not the switch. Okay. So, uh, finally, I am ready with my new switch. I have soldering iron, soldering paste, uh, some wires, and shrink tube. So, let's begin. connected the switch and then to the fuse as well and uh, now let's check if uh, the bike is ready or not oh let's see if it works oh voila so bike is ready and yeah wheel is running so all good I will finish it up, wrap it and go for a test ride. 